Newton-Carton theory is a geometrical reformulation, as well as a generalization, of Newtonian gravity developed by Ehlers-Carton. In this reformulation, the structural similarities between Newton's theory and Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity are readily seen, and it has been used by Carton and Kurt Friedrichs to give a rigorous formulation of the way in which Newtonian gravity can be seen as a specific limit of general relativity, and by Jürgen Ehlers to extend this correspondence to specific solutions of general relativity. Geometric formulation of Poisson's equation. In Newton's theory of gravitation, Poisson's equation reads where is the gravitational potential, is the gravitational constant and is the mass density. The weak equivalence principle motivates a geometric version of the equation of motion for a point particle in the potential where is the inertial mass and the gravitational mass. Since, according to the weak equivalence principle, the according equation of motion doesn't contain any more a reference to the mass of the particle, following the idea that the solution of the equation then is a property of the curvature of space, a connection is constructed so that the geodesic equation represents the equation of motion of a point particle in the potential. The resulting connection is with them, sur les varietés of connection affine et la théorie de la relativité genere la c, an, école norm, 40, 325, carton, eli, sur les varietés of connection affine et la théorie de la relativité genere la c, an, école norm, 41, 1. Carton, Eli, Uvas Completus, 3, 1, Gauthier Villas, pp. 659-799, Wren, Jurgen, Schemmel, Matthias, Eds. The Genesis A General Relativity 4, Springer, pp. 1107-1129. Chapter 1 of Ehlers, Jurgen, Survey of General Relativity Theory, in Israel, Werner, Relativity, Astrophysics and Cosmology, Rydal, pp. 1-125, ISBN 90-277-0369-8.